YouTube, good morning and welcome back. If you aren't with me on YouTube, I strongly recommend you join or subscribe. Um, ver Iraq's about to revalue their currency very soon. Next week, I'm going to start spilling all of the beans for you, okay? Part of the reason why I, I'm ready to do that is there's some major things coming forward starting next year, okay? Next year is when our recession is going to start in January based on the actions and movements of the BRICS nations. Here's one right here. Did you guys know that, for example, Iraq's going to be joining the BRICS. Obviously, they're withdrawing the dollar as of January 1st. Did you guys know that before Iraq can completely exit the dollar, remember the federal government of Iraq uses the dollar for trade right now because their dinar is not recognized internationally. So what they're showing you or revealing to you is they have to revalue before they can eliminate or end the use of the dollar. If they don't revalue before, they won't have a currency to use for trade. So Iraq does have to revalue the currency before they can end the use of the dollar. So next week, we'll be bringing forward all the facts, guys, and I have a lot to share with you. The main reason I'm ready to spill the beans, for one, is we're very close. But I want to make sure you guys are prepared for what's ahead. Okay, for example, in January, Saudi Arabia and UAE are joining. I've seen documents where a rat, or the BRICS nations will have about 60 to 70% of the OPEC nations joining their group. Okay, one of the major things they're going to do is stop trading oil via the U.S. dollar. Okay, they're going to trade it against their own currencies. So once the BRICS, as the BRICS nations start to form and grow, they're going to end the use of the dollar on all levels. Okay, they're also going to be selling off our U.S. Treasury bonds. They won't be owning our debt anymore. These actions are going to collapse the dollar and the U.S. economy. Okay. I want to make sure you guys are prepared for this, okay? I'm going to be, shortly after the rate changes, I will be acquiring and opening banks. Not to help you exchange your foreign currency. You can, you'll be able to go to Fifth Third Bank, for example, on the East Coast. I've already consulted with them. You'll be able to exchange your foreign currency there. And they won't charge you any fees to exchange your foreign currency. So again, I'm not, won't be here for that. What I want to make sure is that you guys have everything in place when this revalues i want to make sure you have everything in place to help you correctly say be good stewards with your finances help you save your money and get it invested correctly for example i will have an investment division that can help you guys right now using insurance type investment options that are averaging nine to thirteen percent annually okay i want to make sure you guys are set and protected long term moving forward Okay, so again, I will have a bank, I will have an investment team to help you guys. So I want to make sure you guys are set because of what's ahead. Okay, I'm not trying to bring you doom and gloom, I'm bringing you the truth. So anyway, the U.S., and, and I can tell you this right here, one of the, you guys know God's in charge. The main reason why we've had to wait for the rate to change is God has been delaying the timing of the rate change so that the rate so that you and I are blessed and provided for in close proximity to the start of the collapse and recession of the US economy. That's why the timing of the rate change is so critical because of what's immediately ahead early next year and what's starting early next year. Okay. God wanted to provide for us at the right time. That's why we've had to wait for a very long time for the rate to change. It's called timing. Okay. But again I want to make sure you guys understand what's coming, know what's going on. I want to make sure you're in the know, have the knowledge. I want to make sure you're empowered and have everything set and ready to go for next year as we move forward into our recession. Okay. So starting, starting next week, guys, I will be spilling all the beans. This is where we started today. I've got a lot to bring you next week. Okay, we have more than anybody else out there has. We just have real facts. And we will resume next week. And I'm probably going to do two videos next week. 
kind of a first half and a second half to everything. In the first half, I'll be showing you what the linchpin is to the rate change, what a rack was waiting on, and all that. And then shortly after, shortly after that, I'll bring you more information that completes the uh, our studies. Thank you guys for joining me again. If you're not with me on YouTube, I strongly recommend you subscribe. You guys are the best. Take care and have an amazing day. Have a great week.